Hitchcock may have conceptualized the horror created by his movie The Birds, but it's the 140-year-old schoolhouse that helps keep the haunting alive. Like a little girl. Wow. And I noticed that she was, she was up off the floor. The former school and Bodega Community Center has been Leah Taylor's home since her parents bought it in 1966. It was three years after Hitchcock had made his movie and the town had all but abandoned the building. She remembers being asleep upstairs when she had her first encounter with a ghost. There was a chain on the front door because the doors didn't lock, so I heard the front door chains rattle. Footsteps on the stairs stopped and no one was there. And I had a small rocker and a beach ball that were next to my bed and the rockers started just rocking back and forth. And the beach ball just moved as if someone had their hand on it, like they were rolling it with the rocker. Now, listen closely to what happens to our wireless microphone. And the hair on my dog's back was, you know, all up and I pinched myself a few times and pulled the covers over my head. And since then, there have, the building has been... Wireless interference? Hard to say. But what's certain is, Taylor once ran a bed and breakfast here, and people reported seeing a familiar figure downstairs in the classroom that Hitchcock used in the movie. For instance, we think the very first school teacher that taught here, Calvin Keithley, he appears in the old slate board. A figure of him appears, and you can't wash it off. And that might not be the only place that Calvin Keithley shows up. Hundreds of people stop and take their picture here every year, but not all of them get photobombed by an image in the upstairs window. This photo was recently sent to Taylor. The tourists noticed something different about the window on the right, so they enlarged it and zoomed in. Could that be Calvin Keithley keeping an eye on things down below? Taylor thinks it bears a resemblance. But now the doors to the schoolhouse are being thrown wide open to share the haunting. Taylor's hosting her first ever public Halloween party. I live with ghosts, but I don't, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not afraid of goblins. A fundraiser Saturday night is for the nonprofit Sebastopol Community Center. She says not only is this year the 50th anniversary of the birds, the original party of the dedication for the new school was on October 30th of 1873, so let's just bring it all full circle and see if we can have a party out there and raise money at the same time. Taylor says there'll be food, drink, and dancing with who knows who from the past. In Bodega, Alan Martin, KPIX 5.